Uh, I want to talk about sports real quick. Um, Big Show, I know you're a Chiefs fan. I know you're a Chiefs fan. I see all that red back there. I appreciate that. Um, I'm kind of hurting right now, bro. My quarterback. My quarterback is gone. You know, for most almost all of a decade, my quarterback has been Derek Carr. Now, say what you will about him, right, wrong, good, or bad. And I'll get to that in a second. I believe the Raiders did him dirty. Um, the man gave everything he had for the team. And I'm tired of seeing people talk about, well, he's had nine years and we haven't gotten a playoff win. Does he play defense now? Did I miss something? Did he by himself blow five double digit leads this season? I, I guess if he did, then yeah, you can say it's Derek's fault. I'm not saying that no. he's not to blame. He's he's got to share some of the blame too because he's made some mistakes, but he's not the sole reason that we are. Where oh we no, are. they're they're an overall dumpster fire this year. I mean, let's just let's just call it what it is. Um, but no, he he's not that he doesn't play defense that causes them to lose. How many did you say they lost five games? Right, Double it's five score. now because the San Francisco game they were up by ten. Wow. But, you know, he is a uh, partial to blame for putting his defense in bad situations by throwing yeah. missed time turnovers. Um, so, I, you know, I can feel your pain because there were many years where being a Chiefs fan, we were crushed. We did just enough, looked just good enough to maybe get in the playoffs, get in the playoffs, and get our ass whooped. So, I definitely understand your heartache. But I'm going to tell you that this is the beginning of a new era for the Raiders, and you should be excited. I will be as long as they don't do one thing. Do not get Tom Brady. They're not going to get Tom Brady. I already told you where Tom Brady's going to go next year. He's going to Miami. Oh, I thought you were going to say hell, but, you know. No, nah, he's going um, to Miami. Just as high, but yeah. I, I think... Like, you like something so good, but it's so bad for you. That's kind of what Derek Carr was. I mean, you know, he's this, he, he's that, he's that, you know. That's the title to this segment. I'm in an abusive relationship with Derek Carr. <laughs> yeah, you know, hit me again, Ike. That's what Tina Turner kept saying. Hit me again, Ike. She kept coming back. It's just so shiny, so good. But now it's, you, you have been forced to separate. I believe this is going to be a good thing in the long run for both the Raiders organization and Derek Carr. Yeah, I agree my, too. My prediction for Derek Carr next year, he will either be playing for the Colts, but most likely I think he'll play for Red the Tennessee Skins. Titans. Whoa, I, I said Redskins, excuse me, I meant Commanders. That's gonna I think he's going to play for the Tennessee Titans. Got Mike, or you know, Vrabel as a really good head coach. I think that'll be the perfect landing spot for him. And you know what all those teams have in common? They have a defense. There you go. There you go. They do have a defense. But I'm going to be honest. Raiders have a defense as well. They just can't. They, they, they're, for whatever reason, they just, they have bad, they're, they're from top to bottom, they're just, Attitude reflects leadership. Leadership is bad in that in that organization. Yeah. And take it from somebody that had, you know, when Todd Haley was here, bad leadership. Oh, that was a dumpster fire. You know, um, it's just I, I think you'll be okay. I think this Stidham guy is is a stopgap till you find mm -hmm. somebody else. But Stidham's no joke. I mean, he played in the Patriot system. He knows Josh McDaniel. So it it might be a puzzle piece that works. Might. Yeah, and, and believe me, you know, if you would have told me at the beginning of the season, Carr's not going to be here at the end of the season, I would understand it. Maybe I still wouldn't like it, but it was how it went down that kind of gets under my skin. 
Oh, no, I I agree. I think he was done crappy, you know, just basically saying, hey, we're just going to bench you for the. But, you know, that's another dirty reason. You you did hear why they did it, right? Uh, it's got to do with the cap. Yeah, if, if, if he played if he, those if last he played and games, got hurt, they owed him like $30 40, million. $40 dollars. million. $40 million. I heard it was 33 It's It's 30 but, something, but it, yeah, it's you still, might It's say. still a lot of flipping money. Mm -hmm. That if he played those last two games, they got to cut him a 33, 35, 30 plus million dollar check. <laughs> yeah. And I understand that we are a quote unquote cash poor team. We are not in that Jerry Jones stratosphere. I, I get that. But. What well, doesn't really matter how rich you are in the NFL? Because everybody has a cap. I mean, Denver Broncos ownership is, is has more money than. Jerry Jones. That is true. I forgot about Mr. Walton there. Uh, but but the thing <laughs> is, they know that we need to put some money into this defense. They know that. Y'all have a my whole thing is y'all really rest do. restructure the man's contract, make it player, make it team friendly. And well, then he if has he doesn't, to want to do that. Uh, and that's true. If he didn't want to do that, the Raiders and Derek Carr have agreed to part ways. Isn't and the that cool how the thing NFL about it? For the most part, but he has a no trade clause too, so he gets. They can't just trade with anybody. He gets to pretty much choose where he wants to go. That's so true. he still has a lot of power in in the relationship. But yeah, it, it was pretty crappy.